Oh, how's it going, buddy? Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to In Between the Lines. We're now on episode number six. We're on fire here. It's getting cold outside, but that means Christmas is coming up. Hope you guys are ready for that. In this episode, we're going to have special guest, Mrs. Weststone. We're going to have a new game we're going to introduce to you. So stay tuned to that. Make yourself comfortable. Enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Student Questions, and today I have Mrs. Whetstone. And the students have put in questions for me to ask her, and she's going to answer it. So, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, first question How's HN going? Good. It's been really busy, but in the best way possible. We've nice. been really busy. Um, why did you come to Hard Northern? Uh, actually, I came to Hard Northern for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is because uh, we live in Waynesfield, and I was driving an hour to work, and it cut my drive time into about half. So now I'm only driving about 30 minutes to work. Um, and I was looking uh, for a little bit of a change for my kids to move as well. Nice, nice. Yeah. And, um, do you like working at the school? Yeah, it's been really fun. Um, I feel bad I haven't gotten to know a lot of the staff yet, uh, but that's my own fault. Uh, out here in the ag building, we're kind of separate from the rest of everybody. Um, but it's been fun getting to know um, the students and the staff as much as I can uh, and interacting with everybody. So what is your motivation? Oh gosh, Mot motivation for teaching or just motivation in general? Well, it can be like, you can answer for both of them, like for general or like for teaching. So kids are at the heart of all of my motivation. Um, my own two kids who are seven and nine, and then I call them my kids, but my high school kids, um, you know, they, they, they provide me with the motivation I need to come to work every day and to, to create activities and to kind of step out of boundaries and, and push them to do other things too. Nice. And um, what are your favorite things about the school? Favorite things? Yeah. Oh my gosh, everybody has been so warm and welcoming since I've started here being the new girl. Uh, sometimes it's not always easy to be the new person and it's been really, really nice to feel very, very welcome from, from every direction. Hmm. Um, um. Said, I don't know, uh, cry emoticon, and what's your favorite sport? Um, favorite sport is college football. Go Buckeyes. Uh, as far as emoticons, uh, I don't know. I don't use a lot of emojis or anything like that. Okay, um, do you enjoy teaching ag? Yeah, um, actually, what's really funny is I never thought I was going to be an ag teacher. Um, I thought I was going to be an English teacher and my high school ag teacher actually called me in uh, during my first year of college and was like, what are you doing? Why are you not teaching ag? So after having some conversation with him and some other friends, um, I made the switch and it was a really good decision. Nice. And um, what's your favorite farm animal? Oh, definitely pigs. My kids show livestock. They, sh they show livestock all around the country. Uh, so we have six show pigs in our barn right now that we get to take all over the place. Um, what's your favorite food or your favorite food combination? Ooh, that's really tough. Favorite food is my great grandmother's uh, peach pie recipe. Nobody has been able to replicate it, but she left it to me when she passed away. Nice. And so um, that is kind of one that I hold in my pocket. Uh, food combination, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of girl. I'm a farm girl. So, you know, anything, a good steak and a uh, Potato yeah, it sounds pretty for good me. <laughs> and um, have you played the new season of Fortnite? Nope. Yeah. I have never played Fortnite in my life. <laughs> I haven't played a game in like five years. Uh, and um, do you know who the mystery man is? No. Who's that? I don't know. I don't know. Who could well, that be? Will he, will he ever be unrevealed or whatever? I don't know. Um, how do you feel the um, FFA pot luck went? Really good. There was a really good turnout. We had the majority of our members there. It was nice to kind of just sit and enjoy everybody's company around a good meal nice and all yeah what movie character would you say you are similar to um oh man that's really tough movie character yeah oh my gosh i've never been asked this question before mm, i would say that i am a little bit like on weasley a little dorky, a little quirky. Sometimes, you know, I mess up my words, but at the end of the day, I have the best of intentions. <laughs> um, 
What is your favorite part about being a ag teacher? Oh, I love that I get to come to work and I never get to do the same thing every day. Um, especially with my, my younger students um, and then with my older students with FFA activities, we get to like go all over the place and do all kinds of different things. So there's always something going on out here in some way, shape or form, some kind of project, some kind of activity, some kind of hands-on learning. Um, and that's probably my overall favorite. Nice, and um, what's your favorite dessert? Oh, I already told you, my great grandma's peach pie. That's my favorite. That's also your favorite dessert? Yep. Oh, oh nice. Yep. Um, what like uh, period is your favorite and least favorite? What periods? Yeah, period of the day. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I struggle six period because it's right after lunch and so my belly's full and I want to take a nap sometimes. But but I usually end up um, do it like because it's my plan period, I usually end up doing all my walking. So if I need to go to the copy machine or my mailbox or something like that. Favorite periods of the day? I don't know that I have a favorite. We do so many different things at so many different levels. I really enjoy my upperclassmen, my juniors and seniors, but my freshmen and my eighth graders can be really fun. And my sophomores, although like, you know, they're in the mix. I just, there's so few of them compared to the rest of my classes. They're probably one of my smallest classes of the day. And um, last question, if you were not an ag teacher, what would you be? Oh, I actually have an answer for this one. So I am a hobby photographer. Um, it's just a hobby, but I enjoy capturing families and their kids and um, helping them create memories that they get to hang on their walls. Okay. Nice. So um, that was the last question. Uh, thank you for a answering those. You're welcome. Thanks for and, having um, me. And sage and proud. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm here with Andrew and Norm. All right, we're going to introduce you to a new show we got planned, and we have HN and food, and we're going to ask you in one minute some questions about each category, and you got, yeah, one minute time and see how much um, question you can answer. So we're going to make a schnick, schnack, schnook, scissors, it, well, what's it called? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Schnick, schnack, schnuck. Called in Germany. So who gets to, cho to choose first the category? All right, All you right. ready? Schnack, schnuck. <laughs> schnick, schnack, schnuck. Like All right, is. Nolan gets to choose first. What do you want to choose? We're going to go with HN. Go with HN. All right. All right, here we got the hard northern questions. See how good you know your own school. All right, you ready? All right. Who's the current elementary principal? Mr. Halsey. How many times did the Hard Northern Polar Bears make it into the playoffs? <sighs> Guess if you don't know. I don't know about playoffs. How many coaches did the football varsity JV team have during the 23 season half? You say JV team? JV varsity. Oh. How many Six, have? maybe? That's right. Okay. Name one number of the jerseys which hangs in the Hard Northern varsity gym. Five. Right. What year did the Hard Northern Bears get state champions? 2004. How many staff members does HN have total? 50. About right, 36. Uh, at 63. <laughs> How many of the staff members also graduated themselves at HN? Mm, we're going to go 15. 20, but I'll give you that point. Name the four grid houses. Guts, Resilience, Tenacity, and Integrity. Not the right order, but yeah. Which staff members got right. second place in... All right. Good job. I think that was about... We count that again. And 20 points. Yeah, plenty points. All right, see how Andrew does in the food category. Do you think category. you're much of a foodie? Oh, I'm a foodie, all right. Okay, do you think you get these answers? Do you oh, think yeah. I had questions, Blaine? Okay. Start. First question. Which animal is considered a different category in South America? A, a porcupine, capybara, hedgehog, or skunk? I'm a go capybara. Right. Which one? Which which out of these countries is the street food balut from? India, Sweden, Philippines, Austria. We'll go India. Wrong. It's Philippines. True or false? Kazu Mar Marzu contains live maggots. True. Yes. Okay. True or false? The the Burger King foot lettuce meme image comes from Ohio. False. No, it's actually true. What country protects capybara from being slaughtered for food? Philippines, Venezuela, China, or South America? I'm gonna go 
South America. Wrong, it's Venezuela. What candy was given to World War II soldiers? Uh, Twix, M&M's, Skittles, or Mars bars? M&M's. Correct. When was the... Okay, thank you for um, answering those. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, not. Okay, answers out. All right, Puerto Rican nation, you experienced so far the first ITBL hot minute quiz. Oh, you guys liked it. It was pretty competitive. Uh, we had two great competitors, and there's only one, one winner who's gonna take the first ITBL award, and that is Nolan Hobson. Congrats to you. Make sure to turn up next time. Go team! Okay, that was that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. Stage and proud.